They're a lot more dangerous, they're a lot faster, they're a lot harder animals. Buffalo will stay on your black soil, flog your better grasses all over the wet. Your good country never gets a break and they wreck our fences in a major way. This is how you catch buffalo in the Northern Territory. It's all about the timing. A chopper in the sky, catches ready to pounce below. Station manager Dan Hayes has more than 30 years flying experience under his belt. They're a lot more dangerous, they're a lot faster. Um, they're a lot harder animal. Precision is a must to trap the fast creatures who are uncanny in their ways of avoiding capture. A lot to think about, yeah. Where you're going to drive the animal, whether the animal's going to go fast, slow, turn around, come back. <laughs> Maybe you can help. Boy! We should probably help. It's a job nobody is spared from at Manaroo Station in the top end. School holidays offering up extra hands to help with the muster. I guess one day people won't be catching buffalo, so it, it's, it's great that the kids are getting to do it. And yeah, good driving skills, thinking skills, planning, yeah, and they love it. <laughs> This 1,300 square kilometre property teams with around 2,000 wild buffalo. The Hayes family admits it gambled big when it purchased the station. The place was um, fairly run down. There was no money in cattle, no money in buffalo. Buffalo weren't even saleable. So people kept their expenses to a minimum to do what they had to do and survive. That made it affordable, and after many years of working in and around the industry, they saved up enough for their dream. We've been working up here 20 years together, contracting and all sorts of businesses we've had, so obviously the ultimate was to get our own place, and yeah, opportunity arose and we thought we'll, we'll go. <laughs> Kathy more than pulls her weight around the station and can show the lads a thing or two, but she shuns praise and says it's just part and parcel of living on the land. Yeah, it's just what we do. You get up, cook breakfast, <laughs> jump the catch away you go, get as many animals as you can for the day and come home, cook tea, look after everybody and feed animals and away you go again. I'm usually the um, fencer. Fencer and, and trapping dogs is usually my main role. <laughs> but, but just love catching. The Hayes' main business is cattle. Historically, the buffalo have been more of a destructive pest. Buffalo will stay on your black soil, flog your better grasses all over the wet, and um, they don't mind rolling around in the mud and, and slogging through it. They love it. So you never, your good country never gets a break, and they wreck our fences in a major way. In the past, it was cheaper to cull the animals, but that's changed. As the price of beef soared, so has demand for buffalo. The majority of animals caught here are exported live to Vietnam as a cheaper source of protein. Cattle prices have jumped so much that what we were getting for cattle two to two and a half, three years ago, we're now getting for buffalo. There's a profit margin in going and getting them. An adrenaline fueled ride to control a feral animal that's finally paying off. I'd prefer to handle cattle and buffalo any day. There's more money in handling cattle. But if we don't get rid of our buffalo through to live export or the meat work, we'll end up shooting them, which costs money and it's and a waste. So we're better off using them and uh, making some money out of them. Yeah.